about auxiliaries, uh, these verbs can be divided into either primary, and we talked about primary concerning do and be and have, and how do we change them from uh, a case into another. Then, uh, and today we have the models, which are the part of the auxiliaries, and at the same time they can be divided into two uh, types, the main uh, auxiliaries and the marginal auxiliaries. First, we have to know why we call them auxiliaries. We call them auxiliaries because they do not behave like other verbs. Means they do not take the S form. They do not take the S form. Means if we have, for example, we say, let's say, they write. And in case we have, we say, she again say, writes. But if we have, they say, can. Again, we have she can. See, because can is one of the auxiliaries, so in this case, it does not take the S, the S of the third for uh, the, uh, third, uh, the uh, third person singular. So uh, neither he, neither she, nor it, they do not take uh, the S of the third person singular. Also with the ING. So we don't have, for example, may. May is one of the so we don't have maying. This is incorrect. We don't have can canning. We don't have will willing. Unless they change into another word. So this is the uh, the uh, the second case. The third case, uh, they do not have full five conjugations. And we mean by the conjugations, the five forms. Mean the uh, the base. This is the base. The s form. The ing form and the ed1 for the past, ed2 for the past participle. If we take any verb, for example, so if we take the verb, let's say, speak, we change it into what? Into speaks. Then we change it into speaking. See? Speaking. Anyhow. Then we have, we have spoke. In the past, we have spoken for the past participle. But if we take any verb, like, for example, shall, we don't have shells, and we don't have to say shelling, or we don't have, but we have should. And we don't have what past participle for the should. If we come to can, we say can, right. We have, for example, will again. We don't have wills, we don't have willing, but we have what? We have will, and we don't have past participle. So, this is the, se the, the second case, also with other verbs. Sometimes, some of these uh, verbs, they have the past, but they don't have the present. For example, must, uh, used to, this is used to, sorry, used to in the past. But it, we don't have for the ing, we don't have for the s, and we don't have what? We don't have uh, the, uh, the uh, present for the used to. Uh, why, for example, must, must, we don't have must with S, we don't have musting, we don't have must in the past, and we don't have. So in this case, we have another, uh, this is a special case, uh, we are going to talk later. This is the second case of uh, the, uh, concerning the model. The third case concerning their meaning. They, or these verbs, they have different meanings, means, they have uh, obligation, they have permission, they have likelihood, they have possibility, ability, etc. So, besides, they have different meaning. And finally, why we call them auxiliaries? Because we do not use them mostly alone. Means we cannot say, I will, then we say, I will house. No, for example, we have to add what? A main verb. I will buy a house. So, then we have will, that, uh, plus what? Will plus another verb. So that's why we call these models as what? As auxiliaries. Now we have uh, some example concerning this, uh, these models. Let's say, take, uh, clarify the case through examples. If we have a sentence like, we say, for example, the sick can leave the hospital, the, so, first, concerning the meaning, does not mean that 
the sick is able to uh, walk and leave. No, it has a meaning that what? Means there is a, p a permission for this per person to leave the, uh, to leave the hospital. But he got the permission, for example, the doctor. If we want to change this sentence into a question, for example, and because, or since we said it is uh, auxiliary, in this case, we do not need to add do not or does not. Instead, we have to say, for example, the sick say what cannot. Then we say what, we say leave, etc. the hospital. See, in case of negation, we added what? We added not to the verb auxiliary. And in case of a question, as with do, with does, with have, also just we change the position of this auxiliary verb and we put it at the beginning of the question, and then we can say, can the sick leave the hospital? Then we have a question mark. So in case of a uh, question, in case of negation, we treat it like any auxiliary uh, verbs, the previous we talked. And most uh, cases, we use what we call the abbreviation. Abbreviation means instead of we say cannot, we say can't. So can, not, we move it into what? Into can't. Shall not, we t say shan't. Would not, we say wouldn't. Uh, may not, mayn't, uh, etc. with other. This is mostly in, uh, in, in spoken English or in speech, we use the abbreviation. And in writing and in case of emphasis, we use what? We use the, the full form. So, this is concerning the main model, we use these verbs. Uh, we have about, uh, I mean, most verbs, they have the present and past, and some of them only, they have the, uh, either the, uh, the, the, the past, like, as we said, used to, or we have only the present, like, must. So, uh, I think this is the clear uh, concerning the uh, main models.